Hey, this is Steve with Polk Zoo Channel. Welcome back. You know, a lot of people have asked me about my acoustic playing, so I'm going to offer some free instruction here. And this is a tuning I'm absolutely in love with. I kind of got it from Michael Hedges. It brings out a lot of mountain in your guitar. And what you do is you make the E strings Ds, and then you make the B string of C. So the, lo uh, the low E becomes a D, the high E becomes a D, and the second string becomes a C. So you get the... So there's simple positions you can do, like if you look at this hand here, the way to get started in this tuning is just to do a couple simple forms like this. Move over to the next two strings. And just look for simple things that work, like two notes here. Try to add some rhythm. Go up, fifth, fifth, fifth. Now also, one of the things I use a lot, you probably notice, is this flamenco technique. I actually got this from Hans Bouquet, who makes wonderful, wonderful flamenco and classical guitars. He's up in Santa Barbara now. Hi, Hans, if you happen to hear this. Um, anyway, he, I was showing him some jazz things, and he showed me a couple flamenco techniques where you go down with the thumb, down with the thumb, and then hammer with the left hand. So down with the thumb, hammer, down, and brush up. So down with the thumb, hammer on the left hand, down, brush up. You get this. Down with the thumb, hammer with the left hand, down with the thumb, brush up. And this, this can take you months to get going, but you got to work it slow. really has some nice sound. By the way, this, this Made in Japan 74 Alvarez is for sale. This is an incredible guitar. I think I have it tuned a little low right now. Um, but uh, this is the kind of guitar when you play it, you can feel it in your chest. It's just incredible. I put it in the same genre like a good old 70s Yamaha made in Japan FG-180. These are unbelievable. This one even, even has some flame on the back. I really could care less about selling it, but you know what? Um, that's what one of the things that I do. And by the way, some people have asked me about my guitars. I work my tail off getting guitars. It's a lot of hard work and uh, and it's no, there's no secret to it. I just work hard because I just love guitars, you know what I mean? But anyway, you go down with the thumb, Hammer with the left hand down, brush up. And then you add a couple notes in the treble so it becomes more orchestral. This is cool, right? But when you start adding treble notes, like here, like here I'm just doubling up kind of easy. and I kind of got this also from watching like people like Paco de Lucia who I've been following for many many years one of the greatest flamenco guitar players on the planet and I think it's like Bruce Lee said at some point you just transcend styles it's all just you know martial arts it's all just music so I've borrowed you know uh, I've studied classical I've studied some flamenco jazz fusion you know I'm just a composer that's what I am uh, I like to think that I transcend you know style but yet I, I you know everybody does you know fall into certain styles but I'm just talking about coming up with tools for your musical tool chest right now one of them is just technique I've heard guys do this on nylon string but not too many on steel string besides myself so. this guitar is outrageous $3.99 man I don't have a case you can also do on these two strings. I'm quite a ways from the mic here, so this may not be picking this up real strong, but that's, you know, I want you to see on my left and right hand here. So 
that technique. You can also do that technique with things like this. I'm on the 12th fret here on the A string, the B string. Start off, I know I, know I have this tuned way low. But here I'm. 7th fret, 9th. the thumb, hammer with the left hand, down with the thumb, brush up, okay, hammer, I mean down with the thumb, hammer with the left hand, down and brush up, 7th fret, nine. Do it on the A string, the third string. It sounds really cool to me. A little dissonant here. Watch right here. Music's about tension and resolution, so here's the tension. slowing down some of my little secrets that I found on acoustic guitar but you know what I'm getting a lot of people coming to Polk Zoo channel I appreciate it by the way and uh, you know um, I just want to kind of give you some freebies because I, I really you know I can't help but speak from the heart here um, we live in a spiritual universe it's about giving and receiving and when you don't make you and your life and your ego and what you want priority in your life you'll open up the flow of prosperity and the universe will give you more as a gift. I'm just gonna I'm gonna lay my heart out here for you guys. It's about I have a three-step program that I've used to overcome some tremendous challenges in my life. Number one, be positive. When you're positive, you're in, in alignment with the universe. Two, have faith in money matters, you know? Have and stand guard at the door of your mind and don't let yourself focus on negative thoughts. You know, don't sit there and go, oh, I'm not gonna think this, just don't feed it. You know what I mean? Meditate every day. I really believe in meditation. Uh, read some of Wayne Dyer books if you want to. Um, and then the last one is focus on perfection. I really believe the universe is perfect by design. You can criticize me and tell me you think I'm nuts. I don't really care what you say. I'm, this stuff works though, folks. It works. It really works. Um, it, it's, it's a way. And then also tithing and also having gratitude. Like if you just get up every day, thank the universe for you know the smile on somebody's face, for a beautiful child, for the flowers, for the blue sky, for a tree. The universe, God, the one mind, whatever you want to call it, likes it when you appreciate it. And this puts you into a positive flow, a positive alignment. So this is something that's absolutely worked miracles in my life. And it, number one, be positive. Number two, because anybody can be positive when things are going great. But when you're really challenged, that's when you find out what you're made out of. But I'll tell you, miracles can flow into your life and the abundance of life can flow flow into your life if, if you practice these things. And I'm just going to I'm just sharing this. I'm sharing this from the heart, man. Um, Number one, be positive. Number two, have faith in money matters. Number three, um, you know, believe in perfection and abundance and, and tithe. I donate money to an organization called healthright.org and man, that money comes back tenfold. It's a beautiful, and I'm helping feed people all over the world. I'm helping homeless kids in Russia and Ukraine. I'm helping, um, you know, women, um, you know, pregnant mothers with malaria and AIDS, and I'm, I'm feeding people all over the world. In fact, Paul Mitchell, who started the hair care company, was living in his car and started tithing and giving money and helping feed people 
now he feeds 8,000 people a day. He's a billionaire. So uh, I'm going to be doing a course called How to Take an Idea Out of Your Mind into Your Wallet, which is kind of be talking about how I invented the speed pick and Zookies and got into worldwide market through the Dunlap company. But I just can't help. I can't keep this bottled up anymore because my, my metaphysical beliefs and my spiritual beliefs are directly linked to my music and my composing. And so, uh, you know, if you're going through challenges in life, this, this will work. You won't even believe it. Number one, just be positive no matter what's going on and try to find joy in your everyday life and, and start thanking the universe for simple things. I mean, just simple things, trees, blue sky, whatever. Um, you know, so be positive and then uh, have faith in money matters and don't make it a big grind out thing. Just, it's a, you know, there's, the power is on the subtle levels. I mean, you split an atom and an atom bomb, you know, the more subtle, the more powerful it is. So just have, have a relaxed, gentle faith. Don't try to force life. Loosen up a little bit. Just relax. And, you know, it's your intentions and, and, and your ability to be positive and to open yourself up to the abundance of the universe. So be positive. Faith in money matters. Um, you know, and believe in perfection. You know, uh, just even if this sounds crazy to you, try it. It works. Just believe the universe is perfect by design and everything and everyone is perfect. And believe in, in abundance. The universe is abundant. And... Uh, you know, don't don't get hung up on the negative things on Earth like these you know, these people aren't eating or whatever because you know you really can't control that. But I'm telling you, this stuff works. And then start tithing, even if you just give in ten, twenty dollars, the tithing will open you up. And I'm, I'm telling you, I'll shut up about this. Like I said, the one mind, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, really likes it and will throw more your way when you don't just make it your life just about you. You you, you there's a, there's a shift there. The shift is being more of service to people. Okay. So anyway. I'm just speaking from the heart here, and I've been through some serious challenges in my life, having kids and growing up in Orange County, which is very expensive here in Huntington Beach, and I'll tell you, man, this stuff works. But the universe is in the business of delivering miracles. It's in the business of, of sourcing you. It's in the business of giving you the unexpected, but you have to work at things a little bit, but you have to realize it's not about control. The minute you think you can control everything, forget it. Um, you have to trust the universe and allow it to give you its gifts and then you still do what you do. You don't just sit around all day and stare at your belly button. I also do believe though in daily meditation. It's a very powerful thing when you meditate as uh, Deepak Chopra says, you eavesdrop on the, on, on the universe. You tap into the unconscious collective. Uh, you learn to use the power of your own mind, the power of your own subconscious mind and you integrate your conscious and subconscious mind. So I'm going to be talking a lot more about this and take it or leave it but I'm telling you, you know, this stuff is powerful and it works. Anyway, back to music. <laughs> I better cut this short, huh? So you can do those things like here. Get down with the thumb, hammer the left hand, down, brush up. Here in the 12th fret. A string and the B string. I love that. I have this guitar tuned down, sounds pretty cool. I switched over there, sorry about that. A string and the G string. Down the thumb, hammer, down the thumb, brush up. So I'm going to stop right there and just for a second so you can hear this guitar. Man, this is a nice box. I mean, these, these 70s made in Japan Alvarez's are incredible. I think the strings are stretching. I have it tuned real low.
now I'll go to the A string and the G string. today. Anyway, this is such a nice guitar. Excuse my strings being a little out of tune, but they're stretching out. The main thing I was trying to show today, and that's why I'm close up here, is the thing with the thumb, okay? Down, and then hammer the left hand, down, and brush up. Down, hammer the left hand, down. So I'm going down, and then I'm hammering the left hand, down again, and brush up. You get this? I better stop right now so this can download. But anyway, I'm going to be doing a series, probably a 10 part series called, well, I've got two names for it. One of them is how to take an idea out of your mind into your wallet because people always ask me how did I invent the speed pick and the Zookies and get those to worldwide market with Dunlap Manufacturing. So I'm going to be offering a lot of free information here uh, that's going to be related to business and marketing and positioning and, and uh just going to be offering it for. I am also available too. I do sales training for corporations. I'm available as a speaker, and uh, but for right now, I'm just kind of doing some freebies because, like I said, I really believe in giving and receiving because we're all one. That's the bottom line. We're all one, folks. All right. Talk to you later. If you're interested in this guitar, by the way, this thing is so nice. Uh, this is the cleanest one I've ever had too. It's got some kind of real subtle flame on the back, but three ninety nine plus shipping. All right. I'm at seven one four five four eight zero three eight five. See the thumb.